A local man is killed after being shot by Massachusetts State Police. It happened on the side of the road here in Quincy, Massachusetts. Police say the shooting came following some sort of confrontation, which led to a struggle. Well, now we're hearing from that man's family. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now from our newsroom with the latest developments. The sister of the man who was shot and killed by police says she's shocked and she says she has a lot of unanswered questions. A new Bedford man shot and killed during a roadside confrontation with a Massachusetts state police officer. Now Wilfredo Justiniano's sister is speaking out about her brother and the deadly scene that unfolded Friday morning in Quincy. I would like some answers and um, he didn't deserve to go like that like he did. Around 8 o'clock Friday morning, state police received a call about an erratic driver on Route 28. According to the Norfolk County District Attorney's Office, the officer who responded to that call struggled with the driver. During that struggle, the DA says the trooper shot and killed Justiniano. Investigators have not said whether the 41-year-old was armed. Witnesses are indicating that after the police officer turned up, there was a violent confrontation. We have no comments on the nature of the confrontation at this time. So police officers have certain protocols and the, the current may uh, may answer that but those protocols also tell them what to do in dangerous situations when their lives are threatened but Justin Yano's sister says her brother would never threaten police never that's why I'm in shock because he would never do that his neighbors also stunned he didn't bother nobody you know he was always with his Bible standing there waiting for the bus I always see him in the porch I don't know I'm so devastated Wilfredo Justiniano was taken to Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Milton, where he was pronounced dead. The trooper involved is a 25-year veteran of the Massachusetts State Police. He's been put on administrative leave, which is protocol in situations like this. In the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.